does getting seven games of playoff experience help you as you start in the second round now? Yeah, it's huge. Um, obviously, experience was something uh, that was talked about about our team for a little bit. Um, I think uh, we showed people what we could do and um, showed that it didn't really matter at the end of the day. What's the key in your mind going into on the road, hostile environment? Yeah, we know what that building's like. We played there before. Um, we know they're going to be a hard-nosed team uh, up in our face. Uh, they bring a lot of energy and uh, they hit. They have a lot of speed, skill guys. So uh, I think we know what to expect. And uh, um, yeah, coming off of a 3 0 win, obviously, uh, our confidence is pretty high. So um, we're looking good. Before game seven, your coach was talking about how he's not a big like rah rah pregame speech guy, and one of the points he made is he doesn't want his younger guys, you know, to be thinking about this as anything other than you know, like a normal game. How, what's your take on how he's handled that kind of thing and kind of tried to keep it normal? Mm -hmm. um, I think every uh, every game in every series is going to present itself a little bit differently. So I think. Uh, um, I think that's something we've been uh, just preaching all year is being consistent and controlling what we can control. Um, obviously, um, there's going to be ups and downs in a series, so I think just managing that and uh, being prepared for what's uh, thrown at us. This is a, a mindset question, but I'm curious what your take on pressure is because at the start of the season, I don't know that you guys were supposed to be here. Carolina was supposed to be a Stanley Cup contender. Does pressure have a factor? Is there less on you? Like, where do you where do you uh, no, I don't think there's really any pressure. Um, like I said, coming off of a 3-1 series against a really good Pittsburgh team, um, with that experience and with those top guys in Crosby and Malkin and Latang, um, I think uh, our confidence is where it needs to be right now. Um, obviously, we've we showed uh, what we can do all season coming back, um, come from behind. Um, so yeah. You drew the, the, the big penalty in, in overtime. Is it just a mindset that be aggressive at any time in a place that you want to you, know, you want to play with? Um, I think it's uh, picking and choosing those times. Um, obviously, um, in OT things are a little bit tighter, and um, you see a play, you try to make it. But um, no, I, I didn't really see see much on that play. Just kind of blacked out, honestly. <laughs> um, saw a chance to join the rush and uh, um, get a poke and get a breakaway, but yeah. In those couple of seconds, you know, um, penalties and overtime are so rare, especially in game seven. In those couple of seconds before that call comes, are you wondering, are we going to get this call? Um, honestly, I didn't see the call um, until I got back up to the blue line. Um, uh, I knew guys were saying, uh, Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. The whole crowd was gone, so um, it was pretty fun and uh, intense uh, couple of seconds there. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything too crazy. Carolina is a team that they push, right? And they're aggressive on their forecheck. As a defenseman, you're always aware, you're always trying to go back to pucks, you're trying to be quick with it. Is there a little bit more of a assertiveness in doing that against a team that's like them, that's, that's so aggressive? Yeah, obviously you want to uh, be as clean as you can in the D zone um, and breaking the puck out is going to be huge this series. Um, so I think uh, just managing that, uh, knowing they're going to bring that pressure and uh, just finding a way to break it out and break that pressure is uh, our biggest key. This is kind of an atmosphere question. I don't know if you know, but uh, the Hurricanes have blocked out any, or they're trying not to have any New York fans buy tickets. You have to have your address from Carol the Carolinas. What's your take on that, that they're basically trying to prevent any kind of Rangers fan and atmosphere support to come in? I mean, uh, we've seen it all year. There's going to be Rangers fans everywhere. Um, this uh, organization um, does an unbelievable job of just promoting um, our players and um, just having our backs at all times. So I think uh, uh, if they're there or not, uh, we're still going to hear them. Um, they're still going to be um, in our thoughts, and and uh, um, yeah, we're going to try to still uh, still uh, do good for them. So going going through this last experience, one. going through this this playoff experience uh, in the last seven games with, with the Penguins, was there a moment I guess where you kind of stepped out into the ice or where you felt like all right, you know, the pressure, you're used to it now, you're ready to go, and that kind of newness is 
kind of going away and you were able to just settle in and play like it was a normal game? Yeah, um, for me it was uh, after the first period of that first game. Um, obviously, uh, playoff jitters, uh, try to get them out early and uh, fly around, get a couple hits, get a couple shots. Um, just trying to be smart and, uh, and consistent is the biggest thing. Um, like I said, um, there's going to be ups and downs, and it's just about managing those um, those waves of emotions. So um, I think our team did a good job and uh, bring that into round two.